Does John 14, 16 actually predict the coming of Muhammad? John 14, 16 reads, And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Muslims argue that the above passage is a prophecy about Muhammad. They argue this from a verse in the Quran which states, O children of Israel, I am the apostle of God, giving glad tidings of an apostle to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmad. That's found in Surah 61, verse 6, in Yusuf Ali's translation, which is a translation I use. The alleged equivalent for Ahmad, which means praise one in Arabic, is parakletos, which is praise one in Greek. However, parakletos does not even occur in John 14, 16. Instead, the Greek word paraclete, or helper, occurs. Therefore, in order to support their argument, Muslims have to argue that the text of John has been corrupted. So, in response, there's a number of reasons why this passage is not referring to Muhammad. First, there's absolutely no ancient textual evidence among all the over 5,600 Greek manuscripts to place the word parakletos, or praise one, in place of paraclete, which means helper. For a Muslim to argue that the correct reading should be parakletos instead of paraclete shows his lack of understanding of the ancient Greek text and the reliability of the copying of the New Testament. Second, in the same passage, Jesus explicitly identifies the Helper as the Holy Spirit. In verse 26 of chapter 14 of John, he says this, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, will teach you. Therefore, with all due respect, the Muslim argument is already defeated. Third, this Helper was given to Jesus' apostles. They are the you in John 14, 16. Not Arabs living over 550 years later. It was given to those who have been with him from the beginning, as John 15, 27 says. However, Muhammad was not one of Jesus' apostles. Fourth, this helper was to abide with them forever in John 16, but Muhammad has been dead for over 13 centuries. Fifth, Jesus told the disciples, you know him, refer in reference to the helper in verse 17 of John 14. But the apostles did not know Muhammad. Muhammad wasn't even born yet. He was not born until over 500 years later. Six, Jesus also told the disciples that the helper would be in you in verse 17. How Muhammad could be in the disciples stretches all credibility. This reference of being in the disciples clearly is a reference to the Holy Spirit's role of indwelling inside believers as the context of John, as John 14 through 16 through 26 indicates, and the rest of the New Testament. You can look at Ephesians, for example. Seventh, Jesus said that the helper would be sent in my Jesus' name in John 14, 26. However, no Muslim believes that Muhammad was sent in Jesus' name. Eighth, the helper whom Jesus would send would not speak on his own authority, as John 16, 13 says. However, Muhammad ex constantly testifies of himself. For example, in Surah 33, 40, Muhammad says of himself, Muhammad is the apostle of God and the seal of the prophets. Ninth, the Helper would glorify Jesus, as John 16, 14 says. How would Muhammad actually be glorifying Jesus if Muhammad is the last and the sealer of the prophets? He really would not be glorifying an earlier and inferior prophet like Jesus. Tenth and finally, Jesus said that the Helper would come in not many days, as Acts 1, 5 says. But Muhammad did not come for almost 600 years later. Since the Helper is the Holy Spirit, he did come nearly 40 days later, as Acts 1.5 and Acts 2 indicates. Therefore, given the above evidence, and as all New Testament scholars agree, the Holy Spirit clearly is the helper in John 14.16, not Muhammad.